When it comes to food, our next guest says it's all about fresh, fresh, fresh. And what better way to do that than by using food straight from the farm. Joining me now is Tracy Medeiros. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having and me. And you're the author of the Connecticut Farm Table Cookbook. That is correct. And the cookbook covers the whole state of Connecticut, Connecticut farmers, chefs, and food producers. And today, I am making a frittata. I can't wait. It smells so good. And what's great about a frittata, it's very simple to make. And I'll be making it in a matter of minutes. OK, what are your ingredients? So right now I have six uh, local Everything eggs. Everything farm fresh, of course. Of course, farm fresh <laughs> is the way to go. So I have six farm fresh eggs and you just whisk it like so. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And um, for those who aren't familiar with Parmesan cheese, when you purchase it, um, Parmigiano Reggiano, um, it will be stamped. See how you have the lovely stamp right there? Yes, and what it will is that say supposed that to? To show that it's authentic. Oh, okay. And so now... So if it's not stamped, it's not authentic. That is correct. And now I'm going to add some uh, basil. And we're just going to whisk it all in. And again, it's just one tablespoon of basil. And for time purposes, I've already started the sausage and I've cooked that. And what you would do is you would just remove it from the pan and leave the drippings in and add one tablespoon of butter. And now we're going to add the onions, like so. This is one of your favorite recipes? It is. It is one of my favorite recipes. I just love it because it's so versatile and you can have it for breakfast, you could have it for lunch, have it for dinner. All you need to do is just add a side salad and a crusty bread for dinner. Yum. And you can really make it your own. I'm using these ingredients today, but you know what? If you have some leftover tomatoes, throw so it in. So it's interchangeable. Exactly. It, sausage instead of what? I mean, can you use other than sausage? Oh, you could certainly use like some uh, minced chicken if you wanted to or you know certainly some turkey oh yes and, absolutely and chicken if, exactly and if you wanted a vegetarian version then you could certainly you know omit the meat so what you would do is again just for time purposes you would saute the onions until soft and translucent that and, means clear exactly <laughs> and you know it's great too if you wanted to caramelize them mm -hmm. you could do that as well and then we're going to add the sausage back to the pan like so and then we're also going to add some kale. And we're going to wilt the kale down, and uh, that takes about two minutes. And again, you can, you know, if you want purple kale, you could add the purple kale. It's just, or if you want to add Swiss chard or mustard greens, make it your own. Now, does this freeze well? Um, you can freeze it, but what's great about frittatas, I just like to have it that day. You know, it, it, it will be better fresh, put it okay. to you that way. But you certainly could. Um, but what also I like about um, this, again, um, you could have it, like I mentioned before, for breakfast. You could have it for lunch. You could have it for dinner. Okay, so then we just wait, wait and to have- to wilt the e kale. Exactly, to wilt it down. And now we're going to add the egg base like so. Okay, while you were doing that, let's talk about two of your appearances coming up. Yes. Monday, September 14th, 5 p.m. in Brantford at the GZ, GZen restaurant. It's a great restaurant, That's by the way. Great. I've been there. It's really wonderful. As well as next Thursday, September 17th, 7 p.m. in Westport at Barnes & Noble. So you'll be there promoting your cookbook? That is correct. Uh, book signing, absolutely. And now we just add the eggs like so. And you want to spread the ingredients around. So when you cut into it, you have an evenness of the ingredients. So we're just going to spread that around like so. And then you're going to cook it on the top just for a little bit. And basically, for those who aren't familiar with a frittata, it's basically a crustless quiche. Very good. Thank you so much. It Thank went, you. Time went so fast. It smells great. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. You're welcome.